Hell, hello everyone. This is Five Gum here, and we're gonna make people, we're gonna piss people off here. All right, so this is a Beyblade tier list. This is, I hope I piss someone off at least. Um, I don't, I don't see DB here, so uh, we're just gonna put DB. All right, so mid, mid S, goat, cool, B. Not the best. And C for um. Hold on. Didn't touch grass. Yeah. There you go. All right. So I will start off with the first how it all started. The original season was awesome. It had a great plot. It was original. That's how it started, and then and then along with uh, V Force, V Force started out weird, so I'll put it in the A tier. Like I haven't finished V Force yet, so like my opinion on this may change to S or B or mid, but yeah, I'll I'll put it in A tier. I haven't finished it yet, but um yeah. So and then the final season of the Plastic Gen. You know what? Absolute banger. Wait, wait, wait. I'm getting confused. Okay. Hmm. All, right, all right. So I'm I'm assuming this is season three of Plastic Gym. So we're gonna put that in goat because it was actually good. Brooklyn was a great villain. He was just so basic looking, but he was he was a villain. Like like. like yeah, those two seasons, they're, they're pretty cool. I haven't finished this yet, so don't even start arguing. Now, for Metal Fury or Fusion. Now, I grew up watching Beyblade Metal Fusion when I was, like, five. It was on Cartoon Network. Honestly, banger. Because it deserves in the S tier. Even though I don't remember much of the plot, Ginga was a good main character. Ryuga was the best. Everything going for that season was really cool. Metal Masters, it is also a GOAT. Like, Metal Masters is good. Now, for, um, wait, 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 wait. There's Metal Fusion, there's Metal Masters. Oh, I forgot. Okay, so look. Yeah, the whole Metal Saga is good. Now, moving on to Shogun Steel, it wasn't the best. Be honest. Beyblade, Bur Beyblade, I mean, yeah, Bay Wheels. Baywills wasn't the best either, and it's not on here. Baywills goes in, didn't touch grass yet. Nah, Baywills goes in, not best. We'll just put Baywills there. Now for burst, God goes here, and the first season goes here. Now I want everybody to look at what I'm gonna do right now. Season three, these final four. This is DB. It's not on here. DB is not on here. Hold on. Yeah, DB's not on here, but I'm gonna piss people off, and I love to do that. All right. All right. Get mad, folks. I think Chosey is actually shit. No offense. Sparking is mid. GT's mid, and DB's mid. I'll explain why. Beyblade is not supposed to have two main characters. I don't even know why they went for that. Sparking is just a tr absolute trash season. Like all it is is two v twos. It's not one v ones. It's not the test of friendship. It's the test of who's better, that guy or that guy. Not who's better, this couple or this couple. Absolute trash. I hate it. And GT, why they have the main character have that cut? And he was just cringe on the first episode, which made me didn't like drum. And overall, Gwen trapped a lot of characters. I'm not against that though, because I thought that was funny when everybody thought he was a girl and when Barry, when he was leaked. But like, the only cool characters I think in GT were Amane and Delta. That's it. The rest, they suck. Beyblade should have not have changed Vault. They should have never changed the main protagonist. They should have left it as Vault. Actually, to be honest, they should have stopped at God. They should have stopped at God. 
because God, Vault, Vault and Shu finally battle, and and like Shu's all evil, Spryzen's are spriggin' is possessing him. It's like, it's awesome. It's amazing. Like the best battle of the whole series. You can't go wrong with that. I don't care if you guys like Five versus Iga. That shit. Nah, yeah, that crap, that shit or crap, whatever you want to say, whatever you want to call it, is absolute ass. Nothing can defeat Shu vs. Vault in the final episode of Baylor vs. God. Even the OP in Baylor vs. God was better. I used to watch that on kick-ass anime when I, when, when you couldn't really, like, when the, when the dub wasn't out, the only way you could watch it was, like, these virus-loaded websites. And like you had to wait and like dodge ads just to watch some Beyblade. Nostalgic times in 2016 to 2018. Really amazing. See so that is my tier list. Honestly, I'm just a base person and I love giving out my opinions on things. So yeah, that's my tier list. Hope everyone's mad at me. Cause I don't really care.